You're wearing my t-shirt. <laughs> Welcome to Reanimator Reviews, where we share shirts. <laughs> I would not look good in one of your t-shirts. You don't as, know until you try. As good as you look in one of mine. I look like Winnie the Pooh, because most of the time I'm not wearing pants. Just, just shirt cocking it. shirt cocking it. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? We have the Boxy Charm to unbox. I've been awake since 9 o'clock. It is 4. I've been cleaning the whole time, and I am the least clean thing in this house right now. I'm just so sweaty. That's so actually... enjoy my glow. Other than the dog, the dog's pretty gross. I was going to say, I'm usually the dirtiest thing in the yeah. house. Or the dog. Oh, it's it's December. Um, so there's that. What's this? I have no idea. Oh, it's an eye brush set. It's the LaRousse Beauty Special Edition three-piece eye brush set. Apply, blend, and smudge. Do you smudge while you do makeup? Like with sage? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I imagine. <laughs> Put sage in this, you're like... Smudge with some incense. This room is clean. Uh, smudge your favorite cream and powder eyeshadows and slay your favorite looks with these essential brushes. Is it spelled slay like... S-L-A-Y. I thought it was going to be slay like I Santa slay. I would be slay. so mad. Cute. I'm not going to touch them right As now. This is Foxy Charm. Tis the season for being extra. That's every season. All right. Here we go. It's a cleanser. Ooh. This is the La Palette Beauty Vita Yellow Fresh Cleanser. This one-step vitamin C cleanser helps to brighten skin while removing debris and makeup. A jelly cleanser. It contains 88% moisturizing essence to keep your skin hydrated. There's a sticker on it, and I'm not trying to ruin you... my nails. Whoa! It looks like Mountain Dew. So there's that. Or P. Yeah. What were you going to say? It says Vita Yellow Fresh Cleanser. It sure is yellow. And it says it says keeping your skin hydrated. Don't you have oily skin? Yes, but I would like to be hydrated. I don't want to be dewy. I want to be hydrated. Sure. Whatever that means. That smells amazing. Galaxy does smell really good. What does that smell like? Lemons. Lemons. Oh, lemon. Does anyone ah. get that reference? Will Sasso Vine, anyone? Anyone? <laughs> you have to look up Will Sasso Crow. I sent that to you. No, no, no. You oh, need to them. look up Will Sasso Crow. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I <laughs> I love Will Sasso. Almost pissed myself. All right, this is from Murad. Mur this is Murad. Whatever. But that's fancy. Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. Love that. I've that is $89. How much? Holy shit. What was this? Uh, 32. Okay. And the brush set? 38. How many ounces are in this? Not enough. <laughs> Prevent and reduce the look of wrinkles all around your eyes, including lids, with patent retinol triactive technology for potent yet gentle results. All ages and sensitive skin welcome. Helps minimize the signs of aging you can see and the ones you can't see yet. Provides 24 hours of hydration to reduce dryness as it instantly brightens. Delivers an instant dose of retinol and a dose of retinol over time to minimize irritation and prolong benefits. You don't really need this because you already look very young. Oh, well, thank you. I need it because I look 60 and I'm not even 40 yet. I like Murad's products. I have used a bunch of them in the past before they were in Sephora. Um, I'm very excited to try this. I don't really <coughs> like the idea of putting anything on my actual eyelid because it, like, it's the thinnest layer of skin on in the world, you know? And I don't want it touching my eyeballs that I have a whole lot of problems with already. So maybe we'll just keep that to, like... No, I'm not going to put it on my eyebrows either because it might fade my eyebrows, but like my brow bone and then under my eye next to my eye, but that's it. The Are you okay? Yeah. The craziest thing is she's been cleaning all day and her eyebrows still look impeccable. Yes, because they're, they're tattooed. That's the secret. Just get your eyebrows tattooed. I know a good girl. She was Lady. On, she's not a girl. She's a woman. She was on uh, Ink Master. Ink Master. 
All right, this is Real Her, Blurring Veil Set Your Goal. I don't know what that means. It's a setting powder? Uh, features ultra finely milled powders which melt into the skin. That sounds terrifying. To set your makeup in place or to control excess oils. Oh. Is it? Does this seem like completely not the right shade? Oh, it's definitely your color. Are you lying? <laughs> it completely... Oh, is it NX, uh, it, it's completely flashback and talc-free to give any look some serious stain power. Do you remember Flashback, Flashback Mary? Mary? Yes, yep. I do. That was horrifying. And it has one of those plastic seals on it that's like a sticker that you're just going to like absolutely destroy your manicure trying to get off. But I want to do it now because I want to use it. Ooh, is that a palette? That is definitely a palette. You don't get to see it yet. I do like the box though. It's a box. Ooh. This is what it came like. That's, that's not the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, all right. Um, what is? What are you doing here, Chief? Good. Yes. All right. No, but I'm ready. I'm not good. Hey, what? What? What the hell? Yeah. Those are big pans. Do you see the one in the bottom middle, though? Yes. Look at that, baby. All that glitter. That's a chunky. It's a chunky glitter. So the really cool thing about this is when you look at the back of the box, it actually shows you what all the shades are. See? What does it say? Love the moments. You'll cherish the memories. Yeah, love the moments you'll cherish the memories. It's it, written on the inside of the box. Is there. that the name of the palette? Oh, it's uh, Dominique. It's the unconditional palette. What does that you'll mean? Unconditionally love it. Let's bold, find out. Bold statement from Dominique it. Cosmetics. This is the unconditional palette. Colors you'll adore for the moments you'll cherish. This palette includes six warm buttery shades, ranging from. Rosy hues to rich burgundy with a mix of shimmers, mattes, and even a glitter finish. Just what I always wanted. I'm going to swatch that glitter, though. Oh, I hate it. Oh, no. No, no. No. No, I hate the way it feels. I hate the way it feels. It's disgusting. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I hate it so much. Ew. It's like let me chapstick. See, let, me, let, me, let me see. I gotta try this It's out. like chapstick. Get ma get Shut makeup up for a ready. second. It, we don't have any makeup wipes back here. It is chapstick with craft glitter in it. It's chapstick with clar oh, what? What? Ew. I hate it. It's beautiful though, but I hate it. Oh my god. I hate it so it much. It feels horrible. It feels like it's never Ooh, it's so pretty though. It's never gonna like set on your eye and it's just going to um, crease forever and then get into your eyelid and give you corneal scratches. I hate this so much. I hate it. I don't like this. Not a fan. I don't know if you could tell by my reaction. but That like, was hilarious. It's not. I am a very I'm a sensory person like certain textures give me the ick and i don't want to move now because there's like glitter all over me <laughs> i want to take a shower you can create endless looks for all the gatherings and fun no, events ahead can't. ultra pigmented no, super blendable version for those fuck days and nights that. fuck that oh my god <laughs> why would you make this who are you making this for just like oh it looks pretty in the pan but like this is this is gonna be just creasing everywhere. This is pretty fucking hilarious. I hate it. All right. The so. other colors, like that one's pretty, but I have that in how many palettes? Mm -hmm. It seems like with all the palettes we get from BoxyCharm, they're all warm, new, neutral colors that really don't that you have in every other pa palette. So. I mean, I'm gonna like I'm gonna look over my uh, preferences. When we renew Boxy, because I, I really do like getting Boxy Charm, because I love, you know, not so much this loose powder, but I love all the brushes. I love all the skin treatments and cleansers and all the hair stuff. It's great, but why do I keep getting the same palettes, like, over and over? Like, I swear there's just, like, 900 of these. Like, this, this was another... I can't get it open. Another recent one we got, like, all warm. Everything's just warm, and I'm 
not going to use them, which is terrible. I'm going to re-gift them, obviously. I'm not going to just throw them out. But I thought that I had selected, like, fun colors, not, like... Yeah, I thought you did, too. Basic whatever neutrals and... I don't know, a little ramp, but I really want to go wash my hands. And I'm going to get out of here, and she's going to be back to do makeup. Yeah. It's going to... I'm going to look... a different t-shirt. Yeah, I'm going to be in a different t-shirt, and it's probably going to be after the holidays, just because things... Um, we're going to Delaware. We're going to Delaware. Things are a little bit crazy. They've gotten significantly less crazy, but I have I have a lot of things to do between now and Delaware, so... Um, Everyone have a nice holiday, and I'll see you after the holidays, which will be in, like, one second. So, bye! Well, hello there. It's after um, the holidays, for us at least. I don't know if anyone else is still celebrating their holidays. I hope you're having great holidays. I am exhausted. I took an extra day off of work, and I'm still fucking exhausted. Um, so, let's do some makeup, I guess. <laughs> I've already washed my face with that jelly cleanser, which is like, it's like such a thick consistency. I used way too much the first time and I had a really hard time like getting the cleanser off of my skin because it just felt like, I don't know, like a mix between paste and jello, which is like a very cool consistency, but very hard to get off if you're washing your face in a sink. I've only been using it since then when I've been taking a shower washing my face just because the steady stream of water just really gets that product off. But also it makes me feel like it's really, really doing a good job because it does take a while to get off. And like, I guess that's a good thing for a cleanser. You feel like you're really, really cleaning deep into your skin. But yeah, I uh, moisturized. I didn't use the retinol serum this morning. I've been using that mainly at night just because I don't really want to like put it on during the day and then go out and possibly be in contact with the sun because that's just not, not a good thing. And the promises on the formula said that it would continue working after you applied it. I think even after you wash it off, it's like a delayed release formulation. I don't know how that works. That sounds like magic to me, but I'm going to try out this eyeshadow palette here. I'm going to use that same, I don't know what it says, that eyeshadow primer I've been using that I don't really care for, but I don't have any other eyeshadow primers that are like decent, but I think I'm going to put this on and then use that, um, setting powder that we got to just kind of like, maybe that'll help it. I think, let me just cap this for a second. The look I'm going to go for because, um, hell no to that sparkly shade is this like beautiful burgundy. And then I think, I think this is matte. If this is matte, I'm going to blend out with that and maybe like just a little touch of this, I don't know, in the inner corner or something just to incorporate another shade or maybe that lighter shade. I don't know. I really need to figure out which one of these is matte to go along with this matte because that's what I want to do today. <clears throat> so yeah. Let's just bust right into that, I guess. We drove so much over the past few days. I gotta lower this chair, it's too tall for me. Here we go. We drove so much. We live in Pennsylvania and my parents, my dad and my stepmom, one of my sisters lives in Delaware. So we drove to get one of my, my older sister. She needed a ride. She lives in Jersey. So we picked her up on the way, which was really, really fun. It was snowing, like blizzard snowing where we live when we left. And then by the time we got to another area of Pennsylvania to get Joey's haircut, it was fine. And then halfway through haircut, a blizzard. And it kind of blizzarded on until we got to Philly and then it stopped. So by the time we got to Jersey, it wasn't like really that bad, which was very cool. And I appreciated that. So there's the, the loose powder. I don't want to tip it too much just because um, that would be a bad time for me. I think I tapped way too much out into that. It's supposed to be a sifter. I wonder if it'll sift back down. Um, kind of, not really. We'll just be careful, I guess. 
I'm going to use a different brush just to get that on my lid. I still think this is just not like a good color for me at all. I think it's a bit too warm. I don't know. Maybe not. Powders are tough because once you have them like nice and applied and like blotted out, sometimes they're completely not what you thought they would be. So there's a cat in here jingle jangling around. Not sure which one it is. So from my lighting in real life, I don't feel like this is a bad color. I still feel a little bit of the tackiness of that eyeshadow primer. So that's great. I'm going to use this packing brush. I did use this when we were out because why not? Wanted to try the new brush. These handles are so cool and cute. Don't look at my armpits. I really, really like them. And they feel like really, you know, well-made, good quality. It's going to dip into that burgundy shade, tap off a little bit. My sleeves keep getting stuck on this chair. Oh, wow. I mean, it's pigmented. Yes. Is it though? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's dark or if it's actually pigmented. I think I just put my elbow in this. Whatever. Love a sparkly elbow. That's festive, right? I think it is pigmented. It's hard to tell. I try, I've been trying to turn my lights on. Turn my lights on. Turn my lights lower when I've been filming just because I feel like it blows out the video, but... I really, really need the light to actually see because my vision is not the best. My retinas are not the best, but whatever. I think this is pretty. I like how I didn't say this is pretty. I said, I think this is pretty. <laughs> I'm unsure. I'm going to like pack it on the lid and in the crease. And then I think I'll just blend it out with a color that's hopefully not a shimmer. Sometimes I can tell if I hold it up into here. I think it's not shimmery. I think we're going to be okay. We'll find out. Also, I don't care. I'm going to use that blending brush. I do care. <laughs> I care a little bit, I guess. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, which is not a bad thing. And then I'm just going to blend the edges. It is pigmented. It is pretty. I feel like I'm very low now. Let me just. It's not bad. I will definitely take a picture when everything's done, just so we can kind of see where, where it's at. It's pretty. Not like the most ideal shade I'd want to blend this maroon with, but it's fine. I wanted to at least give more than just one shade a try in the palette just to give it a fair shot there. Let me just redarken this. Yeah, it's pretty. Is it anything I don't have already? No, it's not. I do have this in a bunch of palettes. I'm going to finish that off. I'll come back for the setting powder and we'll see how that looks on my whole face where I could get probably a better judgment of how the color is going to work with my skin tone. So I'll see you in just one second. All right. So I finished off my eyes. I did blend out with that color up there that's just all over the palette. I used this lighter shade in my inner corner and I use that middle shade under my lash line as well just to kind of like tie everything together. Um, <clears throat> I did my base with this. I think it's Danica Pat, Danica something. I'll, I'll figure it out, but it's that balm that is all over where I found it was on TikTok. And of course I had to buy it. I'm not wearing foundation. I'm just wearing this, which is like 
a primer. It's like a tinted primer. It's amazing. It's cream to powder. I'm going to get my life together and figure out the name of it at some point. I did contour with my little Fenty. I think it's a matchstick. It's an Amber. I have a friend. I have two friends named Amber and they're amazing. Okay. I'm going to powder with, um, I still think it's too dark. I'm going to try. I'm, I put way too much into the actual container, so I'm going to try to, like, tap it into the lid. This makes me think of Bare Minerals when it first came out. Was it the tap and swirl that everyone was obsessed with? But I'm just going to, like, apply it as I normally would my powder. I don't typically use a loose powder because it's messy. And I just cleaned my desk. Is it mattifying things? Sure it is. I didn't um, put my eyebrow product on yet because they're just getting a little lost under the, uh, under that primer stuff. And then I figured under this, they would be like a little dusty. So I wanted to wait. There's something about loose powder. I don't know. Sometimes it makes my face feel so heavy. Even though it's just a layer of powder. I guess I'll swirl this a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I guess the color's okay. It's just not something I would really reach for. Ironically enough, the powder I'm using right now is a Bare Minerals powder, but it's the pressed powder. Let me just grab that. And I like it because it doesn't seem like there's flashback to it. That was the broken one. It just fell all over my leg. So I'm just going to put that away and not think about it anymore. But yeah, I was using the Bare Minerals powder and I do really like that formula. Um... I think maybe a little setting spray would liven this up a bit. I do seem like I'm a bit dewy still, unless this has like a pearlescence to it in which I will become homicidal. I don't want that. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's great. <coughs> I'm going to finish up everything and then I'll be back for like a final look. Um, I must say these brushes that I got in my boxy, I love them. They are very, very, very soft. They're very easy to work with. I like that they're on the smaller side because I have smaller eyes. My eyes are also on the smaller side, so I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I'll be back in just a second and show you the final look. Okay, so here's my finished look. Um, I finally got dressed, so yay for me. I should probably run out and do some grocery shopping, I guess, some errands. I have like a bunch of stuff I have to return for Amazon that's at different locations that I feel like um, the day or two after Christmas, maybe not like the most ideal time to be going to uh, return spots for Amazon. But I think I have to like mid-January to do that. But anyways, so here we go. Here's the look. I feel like the powder is okay. It's just still not like my cup of tea, but We'll see how everything wears. It is, let's see, 1251. Um, I don't know, probably like six, seven. I'll check in, see how everything did. I'm not going to judge the eyeshadow too harshly if it breaks apart or moves around just because like, I'm not a super big fan of that eye primer. It's more so like the powder. The powder is what we're looking for, but I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Oh, hi. Hello there. So it is like quarter of eight and I think I'm going to call it a night wearing this makeup. I am very tired. I am ready for bed. I need to take a shower. So let's check in here. I feel like the eyeshadow actually held up really, really well. I'm very surprised. I'm very, very surprised. I just wish that they were colors that I was more excited about. Like I said, I really do like the brushes. Um, the powder, I'm very, very shiny. I'm very shiny. Um, 
I feel like my skin looks nice, but I am extremely oily and it's been like, what? It's been like seven hours. So that's, that's a bit of a bummer. It seems like it's mostly on my forehead. Oh no, it's everywhere. Okay. I mean, I didn't really put anything on my nose just because I knew I was going to be wearing my glasses and everything. So yeah, I, I'm not like super blown away, uh, blown away by any of the products by any means, but I did like them each individually. Of course, with the eye serum, it's going to take a while to like actually see if it does anything, but it feels nice when you put it on. It doesn't burn or anything. I haven't put it on my like actual eyelids because I just can't get down with that. That's snow, especially with these expensive eyeballs, but yeah. That was my boxy charm. I'm very tired. Um, do you get any of the same things in your boxy charm? What uh, viral product have you bought off of TikTok's influence lately? Please let me know. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. And I hope everyone is staying warm and having a great night. And I will see you later. Bye. Oh, and Happy New Year. Happy fucking New Year. <laughs> Bye.